Chapter Twenty Three of Light on Life's Difficulties by James Allen. The Light That Never Goes Out. Amid the multitude of conflicting opinions and theories, and caught in the struggle of existence, whither shall the confused truth seeker turn to find the path that leads to peace unending? To what refuge shall he fly from the uncertainties and sorrows of change? Will he find peace in pleasure? Pleasure has its place, and in its place it is good, but as an end, as a refuge, it affords no shelter. He who seeks it as such does but increase the anguish of his life. For what is more fleeting than pleasure, and what is more empty than the heart that seeks satisfaction in so ephemeral a thing? There is, therefore, no abiding refuge in pleasure. Will he find peace in wealth and worldly success? Wealth and worldly success have their place, but they are fickle and uncertain possessions, and he who seeks them for themselves alone will be burdened with many anxieties and cares. When the storms of adversity sweep over his glittering yet frail habitation, he will find himself helpless and exposed. But even should he maintain such possessions throughout life, what satisfaction will they afford him in the hour of death? There is no abiding refuge in wealth and worldly success. Will he find peace in health? Health has its place, and should not be thrown away or despised, but it belongs to the body which is destined for dissolution, and is thereby perishable. Even should health be maintained for a hundred years, the time will come when the physical energies will decline, and debility and decay will overtake them. There is no abiding refuge in health. Will he find refuge in those whom he dearly loves? Those whom he loves have their place in his life. They afford him means of practicing unselfishness, and thereby arriving at truth. He should cherish them with loving care, and consider their needs before his own. But the time will come when they will be separated from him, and he will be left alone. There is no abiding refuge in loved ones. Will he find peace in this scripture or that? Scripture fills an important place. As a guide it is good, but it cannot be a refuge, for one may know the scripture by heart, yet be in sore conflict and unrest. The theories of men are subject to successive changes, and no limit can be set to the variety of textual interpretations. There is no abiding refuge in scripture. Will he find rest in this teacher or that? The teacher has his place, and as an instructor he renders good service. But teachers are numerous, and their differences are many. Though one may regard his particular teaching as in possession of the truth, that teacher will one day be taken from him. There is no abiding refuge in a teacher. Will he find peace in solitude? Solitude is good and necessary in its place, but he who courts it as a lasting refuge will be like one perishing of thirst in a waterless desert. He will escape men and the turmoil of the city, but he will not escape himself and the unrest of the heart. There is no abiding rest in solitude. If, then, the seeker can find no refuge in pleasure, in success, in health, in family and friends, in scripture, in the teacher, or in solitude, whither shall he turn to find that sanctuary which shall afford abiding peace. Let him take refuge in righteousness. Let him fly to the sanctuary of a purified heart. Let him enter the pathway of a blameless, stainless life, and walk it meekly and patiently, until it brings him to the eternal temple of truth in his own heart. He who has taken refuge in truth, even in the habitation of a wise, understanding, and a loving and steadfast heart, is the same whether in pleasure or pain, wealth or poverty, success or failure, health or sickness, with friends or without, in solitude or noisy haunts, and he is independent of Bibles and teachers, for the spirit of truth instructs him. He perceives without fear or sorrow the change and decay which are in all things. He has found peace. He has entered the abiding sanctuary. He knows the light that will never go out. End of chapter 23 Recording by Andrea Fiore
www.andreafiore.name. End of Light on Life's Difficulties by James Allen.